Hey, good day everybody. And Atlas have actually produced a roadmap video for 2022. Uh, and there's some key features in there, but they basically start off with pretty much half of the video where they go over uh, what was done in 2021, as well as what they're then planning on doing. And there's quite a number of interesting things. So we might as well watch that video now. Ahoy Pathfinders, and thanks for joining us today as we take the time to reflect on our accomplishments over the past year. And probably the first thing is um, I'm actually quite happy that they put a bit of voiceover on the roadmap. The, it does wonders for the video. So once we're basically about a minute and a half into the video, that, all the stuff prior to that's just what they'd done already. But here we basically come into the new stuff and what their, uh, their plans are. We've made an increased effort to listen to our supporters over the past few months and we'll be continuing this initiative by addressing some of those issues in the coming months. And so this is probably well known and they touch on it a bit further into the video. Um, Redbeard, one of the developers, has spent quite a lot of time in the official Discord talking with people, asking for people to give him suggestions about everything and anything that they can do to the game, as well as the fact that they created the feedback and suggestion channels within the Discord where people can leave their info about what they'd like. We've been tracking many of the problems players have expressed, specifically modular ship system, PvP balancing, tame adjustments, and increased need for additional building structures. So yeah, they're going to touch on that a bit more, but yes, um, modular ships are definitely getting some love in this. As previously stated, we are adjusting the modular ship system, and in the next few months, players will see building experience that is similar to the legacy ships. And that's probably the key point right there. Uh, they're going to try and make the experience similar to the legacy ships. Obviously being modular is never going to be 100% the same, but that whole concept of basically you build the shell, you add the modules and other things like that. The other thing that I'd like to see is customizations. I think that's the next point. We are deploying new modular ships that allow for tame hauling, the laying of temporary trade winds and even shipbuilding. So yes, uh, there was some interesting point in there too with the whole trade wind thing. But yes, they need to have other shapes other than the Kraken ship. Um, basically give a whole different look and feel other than the, the single look that we're currently working with. Uh, the laying of trade wind, so a ship that can actually put down a temporary trade wind to boost the fleet speed. And even then they basically talked about mobile shipbuilding, which sounds pretty bloody awesome too. We are creating a new tame house where players are able to complete tame bloodlines. You will no longer need to care for several hundred tames at the same time. Another one, so we already knew that the tame buildings, and I'm pretty sure that they've made that one quite clear that the tame buildings were going to be a thing, but tame buildings um, and tame ships, so you can haul multiple tames at the same time, and you can also store all of your tames within a building back at base where you can actually do the breeding. So you no longer have to have hundreds of creatures basically littering around to basically do all this breeding, which sounds fantastic. I guess the devil is in the detail. How fast is it going to be? How many creatures are you going to be able to store in there? And how is it all handled? Uh, something that uh, I think a lot of people will be very interested to see how that one comes about. This will make taming much quicker. There are also several new water tames in the works with details on these coming soon. New structures are being created to allow players to build harbor defenses, prevent other pathfinders from building in your territory, and even have NPC vendors visit your base. So there were some interesting points in there. So more defenses for your place, uh, ways to prevent building. Now obviously build prevention is a massive thing within the PvP game. Uh, everyone wants to be able to stop someone from getting you know, uh, a forward operating base on your island to, for someone to be able to then launch a raid. So having something that can actually deny uh, people to build is obviously a very key aspect of being able to do base defense. And it'll be interesting to see what that particular feature is. And then the last point that him, I actually paused halfway through, NPCs that will visit your islands sounds very interesting because it's always been quite the hassle where you need to initially go and buy some crew and you've got to sail all the way back or maybe you're looking to buy some seeds or things like that and you have to end up going back to the freeport. Um, with the new modular ships, which are a little bit overpowered for speed, it's not been really a big issue. But um, once they balance the speeds to where they should be, then, yeah, having an NPC that just randomly rocks up to your island and you can buy the seeds or crew that you're actually looking to get, that sounds bloody fantastic. 
We have increased our communication with the community via our official Discord by providing suggestion and feedback channels where you can post your thoughts and upvote other ideas. We check these weekly and have already implemented several of the suggestions into the game. Along with these changes, we also have plenty of new and exciting content coming our way this year. We can expect to see an increase in our world size, additional islands, regions, and new adversaries. So yes, new increasing the size of the grids. They already moved to 13 by 13. It'll be interesting to see if they actually go even bigger. Because of the way the regions are actually laid out, um, or at least the, the regions work with portals, uh, you can actually have um, very very large servers because people can just move to different regions and it's almost like you're on a different map um, so that's uh, going to be an interesting thing to see whether they actually do go to a, a much much larger world size and have very distinct regions and it'll be interesting to see if they actually uh, allow border travel from region to region uh, to complement the portals as well which would be very nice if they actually do that we mentioned here new adversaries, so it'll be interesting to see what new ones coming in, because we already know that we've got the armies of the damned, but it'd be nice to see some of the other factions come in. Um, we've got the uh, Dirty Industrial, we have the Atlantean stuff, and so to see some of the creatures from that come into play would actually be quite fantastic too. We will witness the rise of industrial technologies that make sense in a late 1700s industrial to early 1800s setting. And one of the most anticipated new features the ship in a bottle system. Mm, ship in a bottle. Finally, we are planning our much anticipated exit from early access later this year. Another critical thing just there. They're looking to come out of early access late this year. So we're basically, what, into March now. So nine more months at most, they're looking to actually be in release. Uh, I think that's a little bit um, uh, optimistic, but it is certainly... Uh, it's, it's good to see that they've actually got a specific end date in mind. And if we can get it released by the end of the, the year, that will mean that um, the new features are probably going to be finishing up soon and then they're going to have to do the, uh, the long haul for optimization. But until then, our main focus as we approach release is bug fixes and polish. Mm -hmm. We can't wait to see these upcoming changes reshape Atlas for the better. And we are grateful to share this journey with such an amazing community. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you out on the open sea. Until then, may your skies be clear, waters calm, and cells full in whichever way you roam. All right, well, it's uh, just a quick little roadmap. Obviously, there's not a huge amount to it, but there's a lot of key information in there which actually shows i guess currently where they stand with a lot of things in the fact that it looks like they're going to be finishing off the modular system they're going to finish off the faction stuff with the atlantean dirty industrial and the armies of the damned um it looks like a few little bits and pieces around the maps but once they've actually gotten that stuff in place it doesn't sound like there's any new features beyond that and so then obviously the long haul will come down to how, what part of the year is end of early access and that's all going to be bug fixes and optimization which um i think people have been waiting and screaming for that for a hell of a long time but you know maybe it's finally about to happen anyway let me know what you think down in the comments uh, thanks for listening in and yeah i'll see you around in the atlas see you later